If you're looking for cheap and instant Madden Ultimate Team coins, head on over to MuttCoinBank.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off. And if you're looking for packs actually worth opening, check out MaddenMascot.com and use code RBT for 10% off. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another episode of Memory of McNair. If you guys missed last episode, we got the most expensive upgrade ever into any of my Road to Glory series. And as you see right here, that is the big man, Mike Evans, who with the added chemistries, which isn't much, is up to a 96 overall. So we are going to get to see the first bit of Mike Evans Team of the Year gameplay in today's video. And the other upgrade I believe we got from last episode, we used the majority of our upgrades from last episode on this Mike Evans. And then I believe we upgraded the center to a silver, so nothing too spectacular there. But in today's episode, the goal is to get enough upgrades to upgrade to a Team of the Year player. It doesn't necessarily have to be one of the most expensive Team of the Years out there, but I at least want to get a Defensive Team of the Year player added into the team. I have a couple already in my item binder, but we're going to have to see how things go, because any Team of the Year Defensive player is going to be better than pretty much this whole entire defense that I have right now, aside from this Deion Sanders and this Javon Curse. So if we could get, you know, maybe an outside linebacker added to the team from the Team of the Year, or maybe a free safety, that would be pretty freaking awesome. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's episode. And if you do, make sure to drop a like. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below what you really think of this Team of the Year promo. If you guys have opened up a lot of the Team of the Year packs, whether it be the offensive packs or defensive packs, let me know how you think the pack look was. Because guys, in about 60, I believe, I've opened up roughly probably 65 Team of the Year packs when you combine both the offensive Team of the Year packs and the defensive Team of the Year packs. And I've pulled three Team of the Year players. And the most expensive one, I believe was like 150,000 coins out of those packs. Now, I've got some pretty good pulls out of the guaranteed packs, but out of the just regular team of the year offense and defense packs, I've gotten three team of the years. I probably combined for like 300,000 coins. So that's one team of the year every 20 packs. So that sucks pretty bad. But let me know how your team of the year pack look has been in the comment section below. And be sure, guys, to drop a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're getting close to 100,000 subscribers, so every subscription does count. I also want to say, if you're new to the channel, I've got a lot of subscribers lately. If you're coming over from Cullenberger's channel from yesterday's wager, if you're unfamiliar with what the series is or the rules and how the series works, I always leave a link to the playlist to this series in the description box below so you can go start from episode one and just that first episode explains absolutely everything in the series. It might seem kind of complicated, but it's really nice. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, go to that playlist and go watch from episode one so you can get up to date on this series. And also, if we can smash a thousand likes on today's episode, that would be incredible as well. So with all that talking, let's jump into our game for this episode and get that first team of the year defensive player into the team. We're going to be starting this game out on defense. We need to get the ball back right away so we can go ahead and get to work on offense and start getting these upgrades. Well, this kind of sucks. This dude's team's pretty freaking lit. It's got Brett Fall. We got Le'Veon Bell and some other awesome players. He has the underneath route wide open. We're gonna be right there. Big hit from Jeff Coat. Run to the outside. We're gonna get the st actually Deion Sanders. We don't get the stop because almost 99 overall Deion Sanders can't make the tackle. Brilliant. You know what, fellas? I'm gonna be a little wild. Take a risk. Guess right up the middle. I guess right. And I think he still got it. Did he get it? He did. How'd he get two yards? Third down and seven. We've got to get the stop. He has about 105 crossing routes. Jackson Jeffcoat's going to get the sack of Brett Favre, as that's going to set up for a fourth down and 11, and I doubt my opponent goes for it, but who knows. Here it is, fellas. Fourth down and 11. Let's be great and get this fourth down stop and get the ball back so we can get to getting some upgrades for this episode. It's going to be a play-action pass. He's going to have some crossing patterns, slant patterns it is. He's going to throw it deep. Please make this play. Landon Collins... I'm glad he dropped the football because we'd have had the ball on our own, like, five-yard line. So that's a smart drop. I'm going to 100% believe that Landon Collins dropped that on purpose. His first play on offense, Mike Evans, one-on-one. -on -one. There's no way my opponent catches this. Mike Evans, touchdown. I knew there was no way my opponent was going to catch that and pick that off. Mike Evans looked like a freaking man amongst boys when it came to that cornerback that was covering him. Easy touchdown. That's two upgrades for Steve McNair. Second down and 10. Let's keep playing some solid defense. He has nobody to throw to. Actually, he has a wide open person to throw to. I was kidding myself. I want an interception right here. He's going to throw it over the middle. There it is, boys. Called my shots. Quan Alexander with the interception. And I think I'm going to try throwing it to Mike Evans once again, dude. He's absolutely deadly. It seems like I know I've only thrown one pass to him. But I'm going to keep it here. Keep it live. Keep it 100. And no matter what... I'm going to try to pick on that cornerback once again. He has DR, he has Deion Sanders somewhere on the field, on the right side it looks like. But let's see if we can pick on this cornerback once again. He's in good coverage though, but Mike Evans one-on-one. -on -one. Is he actually deadly? Mike Evans once again, touchdown. 
two plays, two touchdown passes to Mike Evans. You know what that reminds me of, guys. That reminds me of Calvin Johnson from one of my Road to Glories from Madden 16 when literally like 95% of the deep passes I threw to him one-on-one -on -one or even in double coverage, he caught. So it looks like we have a new Calvin Johnson on our hands as that's two more upgrades for Steve McNair as we take a 14 to nothing lead. My opponent's team is too good to be playing like he is, dude. He's running around like a freaking pelican in the freaking end zone. That's another interception. Quan Alexander with the second pick of the game. I don't know why I said running around like a pelican in the end zone. I meant in the pocket, but you guys get the point. Our second interception. <laughs> I know you guys might be getting tired of this, but I want to see if we can go three for three. I know we're at the 34-yard line, but I'm going to throw another one-on-one -on -one pass to Mike Evans and just see if it's possible. Can we go three for three? And is he that unstoppable? He's going to be in double coverage. I'm still going to throw it to him. We might lose an upgrade with the interception. And thank God. Thank God he was out of bounds. Third down and four. Can we keep this drive rolling? Oh, I'm going to have to scramble here with Steve McNair. B's going to be open for a split second. No, just scramble, Steve. Go, Steve. Go. Don't you dare fumble. He gets absolutely demolished. Got to remember, guys, if we do score a touchdown and end up causing a rage quit, we get an extra upgrade on top of the win. So can we get another touchdown on this play? I'm getting antsy in the pocket. RB is going to be open over the linebacker or cornerback head as that's like a 61 overall fullback or tight end with his second straight touchdown reception in two straight episodes as we take a 21 to nothing lead. That's two more upgrades for Steve McNair. Can we get another interception? He's going to throw it deep again and that's going to be another pick this time Landon Collins and I'm going to be very surprised guys if my opponent doesn't rage quit right here. And if he doesn't, better for me because I can score another touchdown. Mike Evans one-on-one -on -one again, boys. I know it's cheese. I know it's cheese. But got to make it happen. He didn't get both feet in bounds? Third down and 10. We're going to get this first down easy to Kenny Stills. He's going to make that reception. He's going to break the tackle. And he's going to get into the end zone. And that's another touchdown. That's four touchdown passes already for Steve McNair in this one. And that's eight upgrades. And that might finally cause the rage quit already with two minutes remaining in the second quarter. This is a very good team we played against. And we do get the win. So to count the upgrades for today's episode, as we do get the win, 27 to nothing, we get eight upgrades for the four Steve McNair touchdown passes. He had 178 total yards, which is an extra upgrade, which makes nine upgrades. We get one more upgrade for the win, which makes 10 upgrades. And then we get an extra upgrade on top of the win for the rage quit. As that is 11 upgrades for this episode, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to add ourselves a Team of the Year player in the team. So guys, with the 11 upgrades to end off today's episode of Memory of McNair, I am going to use the bulk of those upgrades on the defensive side of the football. I'm not going to put as many upgrades into one player as I did in the last episode with Mike Evans, but we're still going to get some pretty freaking awesome players into the team as I'm going to upgrade multiple positions. And the only position we are going to upgrade on the offensive side of things is going to be the right end position. And we're going to use two upgrades to go from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. And that is going to bring us to the gold right guard. That is Kalichi Osamele. Just notice after I bought him, he is the best right guard that I have in my item binder. So that's kind of crazy, but he is a huge upgrade from the bronze right guard that we had. And we have to remember though, although offensive line isn't the most flashy positions, we do have to slowly but surely make sure we are upgrading our offensive line to keep up with our opponents because the better our team gets, the better our opponents are going to be, and the better our opponents are, the better front seven they have. But that does leave us with nine upgrades to end off the episode. We're going to use all of them on the defensive side of things. First of all, we're going to go with the right outside linebacker position, and we're going to use a lot of upgrades, and that's going to be six upgrades. Not as many as we used at one position in the last episode, but still a lot for one position. So six upgrades does bring us from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold, from a gold to an elite under 50k, over 50k, over 100k, and to an elite card over 200,000 coins. And that is going to bring us to the right outside linebacker. That is out of position, Sean Taylor, because his card is absolutely amazing. He's already in my main team, and that's not the only reason I added him into this team for the series. It's just because we, I'm trying my best to get that Deion Sanders up to a 99 overall, so I'm adding him in to help with the chemistry a little bit. He's up to a 94 being added into the team with the chemistry boost, but like he's also just a fantastic card dude. One of the best linebackers in the game, I think. He might be the fastest linebacker in the game. Don't quote me on that, but he's got to be up there with 92 speed at the linebacker position. That's an awesome upgrade for that linebacker core that got a lot faster and a lot more athletic with that upgrade. And now for the final upgrade of today's episode, we have three upgrades left over, and we're going to use that at the defensive tackle number one position, and three upgrades 
from a gold card is going to bring us from a gold to elite under 50,000 coins, over 50,000 coins, and to an elite card over 100,000 coins. And we're going to be adding ourselves our first team of the year defensive player into the team, and that is going to be team of the year Kai Wan Short. He looks absolutely incredible. Just a little bit slower than Don Terry Poe, but the rest of his stats are pretty freaking awesome. And hopefully that can help clog the middle a little bit more because that's an absolute incredible upgrade. And with that, he's up to a 96 overall, and we are up to an 83 overall team already through, what is this, the 6th or 7th episode of Memory McNair, so we're going pretty quick throughout this series, we still have a lot of positions to upgrade, but that is going to do it for today's episode, guys, hopefully you did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to smash a like, if we could hit 1,000 likes on today's episode, guys, that would be absolutely amazing, and if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, be sure to do so, because we're getting so close to that 100,000 subscriber mark, so every subscription does count. With that said, let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comment section below. And give me suggestions for players you want me to upgrade to in future episodes. And if I see some players with a lot of thumbs up, I'll definitely try my best to add them into the team. But with that said, guys, that's going to do it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.